Guys, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are playing Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. Uh, and specifically, I thought I would show you how to beat the AI challenges in the Lord of Verminion. Uh, so, I won't explain in detail how the rules of the game are, because the tutorial sort of covers, covers that. And I guess I'll touch on it a bit when I show you uh, while we're playing. But the main point of this is to show you the, just the, the strategy of how to beat the AI, or to dominate the AI even, in a normal match. So. What you want is, you want a strong all-round minion. I have uh, 85 minions, and out of those 85, the two strongest all-round minions are Wind-Up Sid with 500 health, 70 attack and defense, and um, his special action is Magitrap. Then the other one is the fledgling Apkalu. Now this one is sort of different to obtain. You need to do all 80 um, A Realm Reborn sightseeing log entries in order to obtain this. So this is, I think, in my opinion, slightly better than, than Sid. Uh, even though Sid has a better um, special move. This guy has better stats, 510 HP, 80 attack, 70 defense. But again, if you don't want to do 80 sightseeing log entries, Sid is perfect. He's he's a beast. And of course you get him from the, uh, the storyline. So now we've covered the all-round villain who's going to do most of the fighting. Uh, actually, I thought I'd show you a third all-round minion as well. So, you see, Wind-Up Sid is a puppet. Fledgling Apkalu is a critter. Now, uh, as we know, the monsters are strong against critters. Critters are strong against puppets, and puppets are strong against monsters. So, in the case that you're, you know, playing against the AI and the AI is using um, critters, then you should use a good all-round fighter that's a monster. So the third all-round fighter I would suggest you get is Wind Up Odin, who has 500 health, 75 attack, and 65 defense. Uh, if I remember correctly, this guy is from the um, collector's edition of... Oh no, he's a veteran reward, sorry. So after you have subscribed for 360 days, you will get this guy. Uh, not sure who I would pick as my all-round beast minion if I didn't have him. But uh, what you ideally want is decent amount or good amount of health, high attack and high defense as well. So now that we've covered the all-round minions. Uh, Let's go move on to uh, what I call the Shield Destroyer. So the Shield Destroyer well, basically goes and destroys the shield. I use Wind Up Horshafant for that. As you can see here, his strength is against shields. And he has high attack and a pretty good amount of HP. His defense isn't that important because he's not going to fight that much. Um, we're just going to have him camp the shield, basically. Uh, if you don't have Wind-Up Horshafant, 
I suggest you get um, either Mummy's little mummy here or the Cherry Bomb. The Cherry Bomb is... So the Mummy's little mummy can be a, a bit difficult to obtain because he drops from the Sunken Temple of Karn hard mode. But the Cherry Bomb can be purchased from... Uh, I can't remember the NPC's name, but the NPC is in Gridania, in uh, near the the uh, Aetherite. Aetherite. You can also purchase it here in Minion Square at the Gold Saucer now. Actually, I think it costs two or three k gil, something like that. So definitely. Pick up this one if you can't get the two other ones yet. And one of Hoshifan, of course, uh, is rewarded to you as you progress the story. Uh, so what we want next is someone who is strong against the Arcana Stones. For this I use Mummy's Little Mummy. Uh, so again, as I said, he might be a bit difficult to obtain, in which case, you should get the Mammoth. Mammoth number 001. Uh, or the Mammoth um, 003G, or whatever your um, gra Grand Company's Mammoth is. Each Grand Company has its own Mammoth, of course. So the Grand Company Mammoth is purchased with your Grand Company seals at your Grand Company. And the Mammoth 001 can be purchased from uh, the Minion Square here or from the same uh, vendor in uh, Gridania that sells the Cherry Bomb. Now that we've covered that, you don't really need anything else. Like, there are tons of minions here, as you can see, but I only really use a few of them. Actually, I, I forgot, there's one more thing you want. You want a minion to go and destroy the enemy gates. Now, for that, you can either use Sid, or you can use the Lesser Panda. Uh, the Lesser Panda. Difficult to obtain, to say the least, uh, on my server. This goes for 2 million gil. Uh, the only way to get it is through the market board, or to get lucky in the um, airy dungeon, level 55 dungeon. So the Lesser Panda has, the, has low defense and lower HP than Sid but has higher attack, so he will bring down gates quicker. Uh, you can't really use him in combat. Unlike Sid, who's great and great all-round fighter. But the, Le the Lesser Panda has the advantage of speed. The Lesser Panda just moves around the field quicker, it seems like, to me at least. And you can also see that his special action reduces the enemy shield by 70%, but I never really use that because I never spawn four pandas. So. I never really get to use that. And besides, Hoshifant brings down the shields really quickly anyway. So, uh, I'm on my way to get the. Uh, 24 challenge minion here. Let's see. There we go. So when you complete the tw first 24 cha the minion challenges, you get the Clockwork Twintania minion. So as you can see, I've completed the first 16. So I'm going to show you number 17 now. Hopefully that's a normal battle. Sometimes they will give you like a boss battle or something. Uh, if this is a boss battle, then I guess I can show you how to do those as well. Let's get this cutscene. 
and it is a normal battle. So I will spawn Sid at B and A, and then just have Gate C selected, ready to spawn another Sid there as soon as possible. There we go. Move your respective Sids to the Arcana Stones and then spawn your Arcana Stone Demolisher and your Shield Destroyer. As you can see I'm sending the Mummy to Arcana Stone A and Hoshifan to the enemy shield. Let's see how we're doing here. While you're doing this, you, you should keep spawning SIDs or um, fighting monsters. So, yes, yeah, SID is perfect in this battle since he's uh, a puppet. see how we're doing here. Good, so I'm just keeping this Sid here at Arcana Stone C to defend it. Meanwhile, these guys are protecting Arcana Stone A. Probably should send one of these over to help Arcana Stone A. So as you can see, Hoshifan destroyed the shield, which means that you now deal more damage to the Arcana Stones. Where are you going, man? <laughs> Go back! So, I'm just gonna keep him there throughout the whole battle. Spawn more Sids. So I've sent this Sid back to heal. It's fully healed, so we can move him up to Arcana Stone B again. Let's send Sid up to, to help. Actually, I forgot. Let's send him up to destroy a shield, actually. Excellent. Respawning Sid, or new spawn. A couple of monsters, so let's... Um, Queue up some Odins. That's gate A taken care of. So now he can't spawn, he can't spawn enemies from gate A anymore. We've sent the Sid to gate B to destroy that. And their first Arcana Stone is down. Sorry if this seems a bit hectic, but... It is actually quite hectic. So we're sending this little guy onto the next Arcana Stone. And now Gate B is down as well, so let's move into Gate C. Now the Search Eye, the purpose of that is that it um, allows you to see all the minions on the field. If your search eye gets destroyed, you can only see them if they're near uh, your own Arcana Stone or if they're near your own minions. Uh, against the AI, that's kind of pointless because I'm sure the AI knows exactly where I am anyway. Let's uh, queue up some Sids again. One Sid and one Odin. So there we go. Really just hammering him, uh, him here. Sid, what are you doing? Get back. Destroy the gate. So since, there we go, all these gates are down, let's move Sid back to gate A and 
separation. Chase these guys down. And dead. Let's move another sit up. Yeah. Open. And all there is to do now is wait. Because you completely control the battlefield. They can't spawn any enemies. Got their shield. And, well, it respawned now. So let's... Let's move over. Kill it. Show no mercy. There's gate A gone again, so let's move over to gate B. Awesome. Back to Arcana Stone. And we have won. Um, so obviously this tactic probably won't work against a human opponent, because human opponents are smart normally <laughs> uh, but it should work against the AI every single time as long as it's a normal battle boss battles are a bit different of course um, so yeah just keep an eye out on what the minion type the uh, AI uses your all-round fights are based on that. Send one uh, shield destroyer up to their shield. Have one arcana stone destroyer and destroy one arcana stone at a time. Simple as that. Oh, and send one gate destroyer as well to the gates. I always go from right to left because for some reason it seems like the AI prefers to spawn their minions. Um, from their left and middle gate. So just start on the right, then the middle, then the left, and then you should have control of the battlefield after that. Anyway, that's uh, no, that's the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you liked. Uh, tell me what you thought of the. Um, uh, tactic in the comments below. If you have an even better tactic, please let me know so that I can steal your tactic. Until next time, take care.